You've seen the cranes, the trucks, and the ships at the Port of Tacoma. Every day, they do a coordinated dance, moving freight that powers our economy. But who runs the place? The port is what's called an independent municipal corporation, which means it's a separate local government, like a city or a county. The citizens of Pierce County created the Port of Tacoma in 1918. Today, voters elect five commissioners to govern the port, who each serve four-year terms on a staggered schedule. The commission meets at least once a month, and public comment is encouraged. Commissioners set the port's strategic vision and delegate implementation to an executive director who leads staff members in operating the port. The port owns and maintains nearly 2,500 acres of property throughout the Tacoma Tide Flats, including nine marine terminals. Cargo is a competitive business. After decades of competing with each other, in 2015, the ports of Tacoma and Seattle formed a port development authority called the Northwest Seaport Alliance to better position our region for shipping. Together, Seattle and Tacoma form one of the largest container gateways in the United States. The partnership positions Puget Sound to compete against other West Coast ports. The Alliance is jointly governed by the five Port of Tacoma Commissioners and five Port of Seattle Commissioners. The presidents of both Port Commissions serve as co-chairs of the Northwest Seaport Alliance. The Joint Commissions meet monthly and welcome public comment. All ten Commissioners oversee the CEO of the Northwest Seaport Alliance, whose staff manages the container business in both Tacoma and Seattle, negotiating agreements with terminal operators and connecting importers and exporters with shipping lines. With both ports equally represented, Commissioners decide where to make strategic investments to bolster the cargo business that benefits the entire region. Each port keeps ownership of its assets. In Tacoma, that means leasing land and buildings to businesses that include logistics, manufacturing, and warehousing. The Port of Tacoma levies a property tax, at less than the maximum allowed by law, to fund environmental projects, transportation infrastructure, and debt repayment. The tax levy is not used for port operations. A substantial portion of the port's operating revenue and the resulting economic benefits come from maritime trade. Marine cargo and real estate operations at the Port of Tacoma contribute approximately $100 million in local and state taxes each year and support more than 42,000 jobs. Find out more at portoftacoma.com.